Right, my name is Daryl Martin with ApexInvesting.com, doing a Be the Sniper or Be the Target webinar series. We're going to go over Sniper tonight, and we always talk about how you are the Sniper or the Target. It's your choice. you got to make it today. Get a free membership with no credit card for the first 30 days at ApexInvesting.com. Get access to our room, our tools, and our training. So, got disclosures. You know, know what you're doing before you're doing it. You know, trading involves risk. First, I want to thank everybody for helping out my son. He achieved his goal of $1,000 at judamartin.com for helping raise kids for, or money for kids with heart disease. And um, he's actually raised almost $2,000 now. So almost doubled his goal. So thank you very much for all y'all participation in that. Um, reminder, Apex Trader Funding is, the, is giving away $10,000 accounts. And uh, not today, but let's see here. I'll change that up. Tomorrow is the last day to enter. Um, you can enter by buying an evaluation or buying a reset. Every evaluation you buy and every reset you buy gets you entered in. Okay? Um, again, tomorrow is the last day to enter for that contest. So if you have a problem with indicators, Robert, please hop in the Markers Plus room or hop in the NT8 Skype support room. They'll be able to help you out there. All right. So back onto the webinar here. Um, again, apextraderfunding.com. You get 50% off with coupon code APEX50. So that'll give you half off. And again, March 2nd is the last day for the million dollar performance giveaway. Uh, some exciting news, Apex Trader Funding is launching a fund, a trader funding app where you can actually go in and trade on your phone and open and close positions. So I don't have a lot of details yet. I've been testing it out, but more details will be coming out soon. But pretty exciting news. So Apex 50 is good until the discount code is good until March 31st. So y'all ready to do some chart review? All right, so I thought today we would actually go over ES, because I've been saying this to y'all in the room quite a bit, but I've been talking about how ES has been a great thing to trade with Sniper lately. Let's see here, I got a question from somebody I got to type an answer to, or I'll just answer. Robert, the Skype room, the link is under the Ninja setup, there's a bunch of links to the Skype room. Also on the Markers Plus page, there's a bunch of links to the room. So, got a request for the Harry Potter wand. Hold on one second. Oh, I pull that up. Got to get everything out of the way so I can open it. Let's see, where is my pointer? I'm trying to find it got moved around um, oh there it is so Brian says a majority of his trades the last two weeks have been ES so I got a S&P chart up reminder we use the eight tick bars on the S&P chart and we're currently on ES 322 it will roll later in the month do not roll until the Monday after Ninja tells you to Okay, again, do not roll on NASDAQ, Dow, ES until the Monday after. You'll see it in the room when you're supposed to roll. Okay, so let's check out ES and what it's been doing on Sniper because the liquidity has been lower. Therefore, with the normal low liquidity on NQ, which is good for Sniper, it's too low. You're not getting a lot of setups, but on ES, you're getting plenty of setups. So we're going to go bar by bar, and I recommend that you do this same exercise yourself every day and go back and review the day after you're done trading. Okay, so right off the bat right here, what do we got? Do we have a setup? No, our indicators are not on minute. You could put them on minute charts, but they're made for diagnostic bars. You got an HD and an ETX all at the same time. And it's coming off of a dynamic magnet. Okay. 
So HD and ETX. So we enter one tick above the high of the bar. We exit when two bars close up and we have our stop one tick below the low here. So where would you probably put your stop on this trade? Yeah, below the dynamic magnet. And if it comes down and it gets hit, okay? Now, somebody brought it up, and I wanted to see because everybody said, yes, 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 take it. But one person said, why not to take it? Okay, now we got a couple. We've got a few, three, four, five clusters. Okay, when you get double clusters, that's called crocodile eyes. We teach this in Thrive. And you don't want to take a trade that has to go into double clusters like this. So when you got a couple clusters lurking over right in between your price, and most likely it's going to come back to that and come back down. So and I wanted to go forward and let you feel that pain and see the double clusters. Do you see why that matters? Why there's what we call them crocodile eyes? Why they matter like they're just peeking out? So what's the other thing? I saw a few people mention it. I'm pointing right to it. And it's going right into a dynamic magnet. So you're going right into a dynamic magnet and you got double clusters. Okay? So you would have been stopped out on that trade if you wouldn't have paid attention and looked left for the double clusters. So exactly, there wasn't enough room to profit before the dynamic magnet and you had the crocodile eyes. If you haven't taken Thrive, it is definitely worth it. So what would have been the reason for the entry? Now, we told about, talked about the reasons for the exit. The reason for the entry is called HD and ETX. So HD is hidden divergence. That's when you have 125% or more on this indicator right here than you do on the previous indicator. Once there's been at least one pullback, two pullbacks, and it's 125% or greater with a trapped Xbox. Now the other one was a trapped X box that lays a mini magnet or paw, which is that white line. And that trapped X box, by the way, is a green box with a blue thing in it. And it lays it within two ticks of another order print, which would be a ZOI, which is this green bar you can see sort of going across here. Or a mini magnet or a paw, which is an orange line like these. So a ZOI, any of those. What is your opinion on taking trades into the tops of the ranges like that? I wouldn't call that a top of a range because it hasn't bounced off of it yet. Over here, it just looks like a trend. Does that make sense? Like you wouldn't have seen that as a range looking at it from the left. A single cluster is okay, but two clusters is called crocodile eyes, and that's what you want to avoid. I usually don't cut losses early, because if I do, I just find myself taking losses that I don't need to take. The only time you'll see me hop out of a trade like that on a sniper trade is when it coils, when it goes down, up, down, or up, down, up in this case. So you're also around settlement, which can be a cautious area to trade as well. All right, so was that a lesson learned for everybody? The crocodile eyes, at least? There's quite a few of y'all missed that one. And that's good. I want you to miss stuff so that way you learn stuff and you don't miss it when you're trading live. All right, we got a double TX here. Yep, coil is up, down, up, or down, up, down. So exactly, invalid, two to three bar shot, perfect. Good job, Hiron. So even with the ETX, it's invalid because of the two, three bar shot. So no trade. Now we have an elevator to go short.
It's okay if you got chopped on an elevator. It's recently off of... We've had six down bars. So it is early in the trend. So I would take this elevator short. It's also breaking below where it's been stopping. And a lot of people, you know, are saying I wouldn't trade around settlement, and that's not a horrible thing until you get used to settlement. Now, you're making lower loads, lower highs. You barely move down in the trend. You move six bars. Seven bars is my max. So that trade I would have taken, and that would have been profitable. All right, now we got a long. Do we have a trade? No. One, there's no reason for it in the meeting of our rules. Two, it's going into double mini magnets, which is one of the things that we don't trade into. I rely on DR on a ETX and on a double TX. Beyond that, I don't look at it. On it. So again, I rely on DTR on a... Um, Sorry, FTX, FTX, and a double TX. Yeah, it's definitely more than two ticks, so it's definitely not an ETX. No, if it was a trade, no matter what, you would not take it into this stack of double mini magnets. So remember, we're not just looking for trades to take, we're looking for reasons not to take trades, right? Because... The real trick in trading is what trades not to take. Anybody can take a trade. It's knowing what n trades not to take. All right, we got a short TX here. All right, we're pretty close. We're at like 0.989. I would not say we're in any chop. All right, see, I'll say go for it. We go for it, and it is profitable. Yeah, and it is coming off that strong stack of double mini magnets. So, good call. So that's two trades we've won so far. And two trades we've avoided due to, you know, not meeting rules or, you know, bad setups. Like something being in the way. All right, now we got a double TX short here. So what do y'all say? Yes or no? Ah, somebody already spotted it. Crocodile eyes right here to the left. Look at these crocodile eyes. Don't take it. Okay. Yeah, and green DR, which you would not take with a double TX. All right, now we got a TX long. We got anything going for it? Look closer if you say no reason. So that is an ETX. It's also got a star low volume score. That gives it more bonus. Yep. DR doesn't matter on an ETX. DR only matters on a filter TX and a double TX. Again, DR only matters on a filter TX and a double TX. So we got a trapped Xbox. We got a Paul within two ticks of a paw. Literally, it's like two ticks right there. And profitable. All right, we got a, another long. Is it a trade? Is it not a trade? No rules, no setup, doesn't meet any of our requirements.
so we don't take it. All right, we got another long. Do we have a trade? Yep, DR is too low for it to be an FTX, so no trade. So no indicator, there's no indicator that sells you to take this trade. There's not any of our setups. It doesn't matter if it's within two ticks of a dev, it has to be within two ticks of an OP level for an ETX. And a dev is not an OP level. So this is not a valid trade. Yeah, it needs to be at or very close to the yellow line. All right, waiting on the neck. There we go. Okay, we got a third bar swing. Is that a valid trade? By the way, I know that is because this is purple down here. This detector is purple. Third bar swing is when you have at least a two tick pullback, a trapped Xbox with a paw or mini magnet on it. And that's the third bar off of a recent high or low. It can't just be a third bar anywhere. So yeah, nice reversal. So we take it and it takes off. That was a nice trade. Yeah, no obstacles, nothing. That was a very, very easy no-brainer trade. All right, we got a TX short right here. Do we take it or not take it? If there's enough room before the dev, no, that wouldn't give us the reason to take it. So there's just literally not anything that tells us to do it. It needs to be at least 0.9, if not 1, on the DR. So that would not be a valid trade. All right, we got an elevator. Do we take it? Far too late into the trend. Exactly. Good job. By the way, have we hit our three? With that last third bar swing, did we hit our three? What should you do after you hit three? Stop. Three and done. If you can make about 150 bucks over three trades, so 50 bucks a trade, and you slowly scale that up like I teach you on the plan, inside of the what's next section i show you how to make a quarter million a year just trading three trades going for 50 bucks where you eventually get up to seven contracts over a period of like eight months who in here would be happy with making a quarter million a year okay that's a quarter million a year just going for 50 bucks three times and stopping Yeah, and you're making more than that on ES. All right, so if you will have a long-term vision, you can actually stop with short-term profits. All right, and that will actually add up. It's when you go for big profits that you give back big profits. And you have to, you know, really have that down to do that. But those who keep trading and keep trading and keep trading because you think you're going to make a quarter million today are the ones who end up blowing their accounts. How does it impact uh, when you have a losing trade? It's actually showing you your net ticks. So being net up $150. So you keep trading till you're net up three or net down six, which it's really hard to get net down six. It's possible, especially if you break the rules a lot, but it's possible.
The stop loss used is, in this case, uh, 17. So we're putting probabilities in our favor by going for shorter profits and stopping at three, which nobody teaches you when to stop trading. They just teach you when to trade. And that's the biggest key. So I would not say you have chop here. It's been going down, 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 and it's giving us what? It's giving you an OD trade. Chop would require some up and down movement. And we only got one up, two down, one up, three down. You know, that's called, you know, a slow trend. So this is ODD. So do we take ODD trades? And ODD is when this number is less by, than this number by 85% or less. And it's 73%. And you have a trapped, which is that green box, X box, which is that blue box in there. A trapped Xbox with ODD with 85% or less. Okay, so we take the trade. And it is profitable. So I'd say what else it had going for it was there was all this stuff right here. All these levels. And it broke back through them before you even have to enter. So it was bouncing off this little stack right here on the way back up of four things actually you got a dev you have a mini magnet and you have two paws all right so that was that's our what our fourth fourth or fifth profitable trade i haven't done a good job keeping track but i just know we're up and we have should have stopped by now but we're gonna go to 11 o'clock just for the practice make sure that you go to sim if you're going to do that but i recommend you to stop when you're up three and then do reviews for practice in reality. Like, don't go to sim for practice. Do reviews for practice like we're doing right now. All right, we got a double TX short. Yeah, invalid. Doesn't have DR in the bar. The bar before that, not happening. Nope. And crocodile eyes as well. Good job. Way to go, Ethan. All right, we got a short here. Do we have a trade? <coughs> Beth, no trade. Everybody else says no trade. Correct. Just because it worked doesn't mean we want to take it. Remember, our goal is to eliminate the bad ones, not to try to get all the good ones. All right, what do we got right here? So some people are saying ODD, but is it ODD? Because we made a new high over here. So see that? So if you were just comparing this to this, that would have worked. Except for this had, would have to be lower than this number right here. So it's not an ODD trade. It's also going right into a dev, which would make me pretty nervous. Hello, John. All right. Now we got a trade set up. Went a little far past it on accident there. What do we got? Is this a good trade? Not a good trade. Why is 57? Okay, let me go back here. Wait, this is important. Why is 57 not an ODD trade? Because it made a brand new high and it has to have two pullbacks. So that would be the first pullback from the most recent high. So if it made another pullback here, then it would work. Okay, back over here. What do we got? We've got an ETX and an HD. And it's not fully automated, though we do have semi-automated. You can check it out at apexinvesting.com forward slash automate. So an ETX and HD. So we have a trapped order with an Xbox with a paw on it within two ticks of another paw. And two ticks of a ZOI there. 
And this number is greater than 125% of this number. That's the second pullback, see? So that makes it an HD and an ETX trade. So, and you got TXF going in your favor because it's above 0.9 there. I can say a 0.9 to, you know, above 1. All right, let's see here. So, we enter right here. We go two bars later. And we are profitable. No, but the second pullback, because this is the low. Here's one pullback. Here's the second pullback. And you got the pullback defined by there being a new OD number laid. Got it? Does that make sense to everybody? So very solid setup having an ETX with an ODV coming off of a deviation. So and then yeah, so like just like if you're counting the top ODDs, you'd be counting on the bottom for HDs. For longs anyway. All right, we got another setup. And it would go to right here would be the take profit. So that is an ODD setup. So because it takes profit before these double mini magnets is a valid trade. It's 85% or less of the previous number. That is the first, second, third chance so 85% or less so let's follow it and it is profitable uh, you could use these trades to help line up with simplicity I talk about that quite a bit in Thrive all right so check out Thrive if you haven't checked it out it will help you in sniper and it'll help you in simplicity a lot just ask people in the elite room in the morning if they think it's worth it they'll tell you it is all right we got a tx short Low DR, no trade. So not a setup. Now we get an elevator long. Which is also an ETX. Why don't you like it, Jeff? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, why don't you like it? With all the chop that you see over here to the left? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this trade either, but I probably would have taken it if I was still trading. And unfortunately, the crocodile eyes are below us, so they wouldn't have stopped us. So, let's see here. And this trade does not work. So, that is our first losing trade out of the morning. Not too shabby. So, not bad. I mean, we had like, what, seven so far? And you're supposed to stop at three? So let's keep going. We'll take it to 11 o'clock because that's usually when I hop out of the room. Oh. 
Okay, we got a TX long here. Is this a valid trade or not? There we go. We got most people saying what it is. It's an ETX. It's a trapped order with an Xbox exhaustion box. Printing a paw on top of a ZOI, which if it's on a ZOI or an I block or paw or a mini magnet, those four things within two ticks, then it counts. And it is profitable. I would have been a little hesitant about the dev too, but it is a valid trade. And usually things don't bounce right off the dev to the tick. They usually oscillate around it. Like that. Yeah, and it's oscillated around the dev already. It's broken through it a bunch, so it's not as strong. That's a very good point. Iron. So another winning trade there that we had. Third bar swing. Yeah, Christopher, exactly. Passed through it a bunch of times. Yeah, way too late in the trend for a third bar swing. Another third bar swing. Yeah, three bars into the trend. We love those. But boom, boom, and profitable. So that gives us nine trades and one loss so far. All right, we got a TX short here. Is this a valid trade? I would recommend no. I mean, I could see how somebody would take it based on being off of double mini magnets and sort of like a, you know, top of a coil range, but you got coil chop. It technically wasn't an ODD because it didn't go like a couple ticks higher. So just not quite a valid trade. So yeah, almost a burger, but not quite. Just not a valid trade. So we don't take it. Let's see, we got a long here. Yeah, when in doubt, throw it out. Exactly. Nope, not a valid trade doesn't meet any of our rules. All right, we got a trade here. Yeah, we got HD. There you go. Profitable trade. So is that 10 to 1 so far? We got another trade here. Devil TX. Filter TX. Filter TX is too low. Going right into the dev. Don't take it. All right. I, I agree with you. That was a good choice. Then we got another. All right. Filter. Now it's a double TX, but still. Much chop. All right, well, that takes us to 11 o'clock, so that gives us, what, 10 trades and one loss. Trading ES. So who guesses what my, who can guess what my big lesson was for the day? To get y'all to open a ES chart for trading Sniper. Second big one was stop after three. Yeah, when NQ's too fast, check out ES. So, I mean, you don't even need the NQ chart open. You can just trade ES. Unless you're trading Simplicity, then you may want it open. But but for Sniper, ES has definitely been the way to go. And I figured there's no better way to do that than show you today's current trades. All right, so that was sort of a short webinar, but did everybody get something out of it? Pick up some nuggets here and there. If you're new, did you see at least enough to make you go, hey, this is worth watching the videos? Maybe you didn't get everything, but I'm going to dig into this further. Uh, nope, you want to use the ES template for ES, not the YM template, because ES uses eight tick bars and a couple of the indicators are set differently. 
Yeah, I'll post this up on YouTube.com forward slash Apex Investing, Facebook.com forward slash Apex Investing, and it'll be on our website sometime later tomorrow. You like having long-term vision to stop with short-term profits. There you go. This is your first time. You have no idea what Sniper is. So, yeah, you probably felt like you are looking at the Matrix and had no idea what we were talking about. Hopefully, at least the win-loss ratio encourages you to go watch the videos. It's free. So go check them out. Dive into them. Hop in the room. And hopefully, it, this shows you it's worth your time. So, yeah, definitely a lot of this is going to be Greek to you newbies out there. But I promise you, if you will invest the time, you'll be glad you did. How do you get access to it? Just go to apexinvesting.com forward slash bootcamp and sign up for free. And then you just log into Sniper Bootcamp and it walks you through every setup, what we do, what the chart means, what all these things on the chart mean, what the exact setups are and exactly why we take them, exactly where our entries are, our stops are, our take profits are, everything. It's free for 30 days and the second month is a dollar and then it's 200 bucks a month after that. Considering in like two trades, you can pay for that. If you haven't paid for it in two months, then, you know, maybe you just need to study a little longer. <laughs> we'll put it that way. So the charts, the room, and the training are included with the monthly subscription. But to think about how many hours people go to college, and this is something you can learn in about 15 to 20 hours. So if it's worth it to you to quit your job, then dive in. So you just joined, you're trying to load your charts, you need help. Uh, there is a white label setup option on the sniper page under the Ninja setup. You can fill that out and Black will contact you and help you. Yeah, I call trades just about every morning. I actually was late this morning because my daughter was competing at the Wise County Youth Fair. But I still called out, like, uh, I want to say two or three trades uh, when I got back around 1030. And then Lori's also in there calling out trades as well every morning. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all have a fantastic evening, and I will see you tomorrow in the trade room, okay? All right, check us out at apexinvesting.com forward slash bootcamp.